Uh, I know that Kyle, you're quite passionate about it. So let's talk about what, like just the very basics of what you can expect when you, you pick up a Mavic 3 multispectral. Sure. So you're going to hear me compare where we're at now with the Mavic 3 multispectral in a couple of different manners. One, comparative to previous generation, the Phantom 4 multispectral. Two, comparing it to what we have on the market. And three, comparing it to what we were doing two, three, five, seven years ago with multispectral. So just a quick overview. This is really the only solution that's out there on the market that's priced, at especially this affordable, that includes a high resolution visual camera capturing individual bands of light very accurately as well as having rtk on board that camera is on a three axis gimbal all on a drone that can fly 40 minutes that's just one integrated unit there really isn't a product out there like that a lot of other solutions are going to be costing tens of thousands and adopting other third party payloads onto other drones. So this is, as far as just getting the best bang for the buck for multispectral, this has come a long ways. And it's not just multispectral. I think that that's another key thing that we'll touch on throughout is that even if you're doing surveying, RGB surveying uh, of the land, this is a drone that's equipped and capable of doing that as well. So you're not stuck with just a multispectral payload up in the air, right? And that's a departure from what things were before. Exactly. So this drone still, it's focused on mapping, but it's taking away from the Mavic 3 Enterprise's inspection capabilities and getting into vegetation management. So ultimately you're choosing between the M3M and the M3E based off of inspection or vegetation and every other aspect of mapping is going to be just the same. 